So uh, tell us your name and what you're known for. Let's see, my name is Jim Steranko and I've been kind of international troublemaker for most of my life. before you got into comics? Uh, trying to stay out of jail, for one thing. <laughs> Not being very successful at it. <laughs> uh -oh. but, but just before I got into comics, I was an art director for an advertising agency, and I also played music maybe three to five nights a week. Those were my two careers at the time. And then I took on a comic book a month, so I was doing Three separate jobs it kept me busy. Why, why did you want such a heavy workload like that? Of stuff it had nothing to do with the workload. I loved what I did. At the being an art director in an advertising agency was a very lucrative proposition for me. Good money, and of course, playing music uh, at night, all night long, sometimes three to five-hour gigs. <laughs> That was a matter of self-expression. I am a musician, you know, I like that kind of creative thing. And I also come out of an entertainment background where I love working for an audience. You know, when you, when you do comic books, for example, you do that in the solitary confinement of a room. There can't be anybody around you. You can't, you can't talk and play and draw or write comics at the same time. It's a very solitary life. Not the kind of thing I was used to. I was used to work in a crowd, an audience. So there were really three different parts of my creative persona that I was that I was uh, accommodating. Uh, did you ever have any uh, formal training in our, uh, schooling, or did you just kind of take it on yourself? I'm self-taught. Self-taught. That's amazing. <laughs> I often thought that if I if I actually knew anything about art, I'd be a pretty dangerous person. 